proliferative diabetic retinopathy is actually divided as three types. First one is called neovascularization of the disc, which is the presence of neovascularization, presence of new red vessels around one disc diameter, inside one disc diameter. Now these new vessels are weak and therefore may bleed. The second one is called neovascularization elsewhere in which new vessels are formed elsewhere. The presence of these new vessels indicates that the patient has PDR irrespective of the hemorrhage or anything that the patient will have, might be having. The third one which is an advanced stage in which new vessels are formed in the iris which is called neovascularization of the iris also called as rubiosis iridis. There is an increased chance of neovascular glaucoma due to this. In FFA, just because there is leakage of dye, there is increased hyperchloresis.